Morning, beautiful people. Uh, this is Brad from the beach, and John and I are down here at Fort Fisher, one of my favorite places, standing out here amongst these kind of scrub oaks and uh, just feeling the wind coming in off the water. This is an awesome day, so I'm just so glad to be able to share with you. Uh, today and tomorrow, we're going to be looking at the passage in the New Testament from uh, 2 John. And this is a letter that is addressed specifically simply to the elder, just to the elder, which is interesting. But he's addressing the church there. So I want you to hear these words beginning with um, verse 3 in, in this one chapter of Second John. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son will be with us in truth and love. I just want to pay attention to this, this greeting, this, this, this message, the way this passage opens up. He says very clearly, look, these are three things, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Jesus the Son, the Father's Son, Jesus Christ. And um, just take those three things for a moment today as you're working through your day. Grace, peace, and mercy. What an amazing thing to know that our God, as a gift to us through Christ Jesus, has provided us with grace, which is not just unmerited favor. It is that, but it is also that thing that just takes its deposit in us when we are born from above or born again, which, which gives us the strength to move from where God has found us to where God wants to take us. His grace all along the way enables us to become the people He's called us to be. Mercy, mercy is that withholding of deserved punishment. Even in our courtroom, we, we learn that, that when somebody says, I just want to throw myself on the mercy of the court, they're saying, look, I know I'm guilty, I know I deserve this, but hey, I'm asking for something other than what I deserve. Truth of the matter is, we all deserved hell bound to sin, sin nature, but on the cross, as Jesus died in our place, the atonement, the sacrifice that put us right with our Father, that took care of sin for us when we could not take care of it ourselves, that kind of mercy. What an amazing thing to know that we walk with that. And the peace of God, Philippians tells us that the peace of the Lord uh, is something that works from the inside of us, then it guards our minds and our hearts. But in the world, we get this idea that peace is the absence of conflict. Don't, don't be deceived by that. Peace is not the absence of conflict. There's always conflict in this journey. But peace that He's giving us, that is provided for us, through the gift of the Father and the Son as He works in us. That peace is the presence of Christ in His resurrection form and power on the inside of us in whatever circumstance we find ourselves. The peace of God provided for us as we make this journey back to the house. i just like for you to think about that today. These three things are a part of your life right now if you've made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. If you haven't, and you will make Him your personal Lord and Savior today, here's the promise that is in the book. Grace, mercy, and peace will be yours from the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. They'll be yours today. Let this be a blessed day in the Lord as you journey back to the house. God bless you. This has been bread uh, that has come to you from the beach.